the last time we got a lot of characters. Yeah. Almost all of the characters, actually. I think we're at 12 of 16 now. And somehow we've managed to end, like, I, I've been cutting the, the videos into episodes, so I've been looking over the, mo the more recent streams. Um, or the more recent, not streams, the more recent uh, sessions that we've done. Uh, you managed to end every stream right here at Kalingan. <laughs> I have no idea how or why that works. But it's just a thing you've been doing. Um... So the big thing that we left off with here it was a little quiet for you. Hold that. Give it a little. That should be fine. Um. So Locke's back. Mm -hmm. That was uh, that was a big thing. Getting through uh, Phoenix Cave is one of the more significant things to do in World of Ruin. Um, because the game knows you want Locke. Also back. Terra. Also Terra. Um, also we got, Shadow. We got Shadow. We got Strago and Realm. Um, there's a couple things you can do. I think probably the the thing that you want to do next is find Narsh. Now, Narsh shows up on the map as a dot on the minimap. But you got to remember, it doesn't show up as a town. Here's a giant desert continent. I'd like to not go here. Unless that's important. I'll be honest with you, I don't remember what this is. But I just... We, uh, we just started, so... You can't land in the desert. You have to land in the grass outside. Or on, or on one of the, the stone patches. I don't... I think it's like a huge deal. So I. Those are just, just little weird scorpion dudes. So, at the end of the last stream, we spent some time. I just realized that Strago is in the Moogle suit. Did Realm just paint a picture of that of that scorpion and then punch it in the face and then learn how to and then learn how to give life? <laughs> I guess. Okay. All right. Me. I so, figured if I got into a fight, there would be a thing. But... Um. So Narsh is on the map as a dot. You see the little the little slightly brighter white dots on the map. However, it doesn't show up as a town. Remember, it's that, like, little valley crevice in a mountain range. So you're looking for... Not a cave. It looks like a... It looks like a... Like a trail. Which I always thought was kind of weird. I think that's the desert where Figaro Castle was. Uh-huh. That looks... That looks good. That looks good. Definitely save before you walk in, though. Also, while you're here, you've got two weapons equipped on lock that let him do full damage from the back row, but he's in the front row. Hey! Narsh is not in good shape. It's overrun with nastodons. <laughs> I don't really remember. That thing was weak to that. Makes sense. It seemed like it was Narsh is kind of the ice town, even though the, uh, you know, the climate's kind of messed up at the moment, but. Oh, 
Oh. The classroom is still intact. And I don't believe anything has changed because this, you know. Yeah. Wait. I don't know that. What, morph? That's Terra's transformability. Oh, yeah, that's right. I don't know that. I don't know that. That happens if you use, uh... If you use, like, invisible. These are more relevant to you than they were when you checked them last, but... Were you always here, ghost? Would you like to learn more about espers? No. <clears throat> I, I have lots of magicite. I'm good. You, I taught you everything you need to know. Um. Man, get a it. version of this dude shows up in like a bunch of different places and it's always cool. Well, that did nothing. I think revenge does damage. Um, I think revenge Ooh. does damage relative to um, how much damage you've taken, which in his case is zero. It's not really much of a threat to you, though. You're, you're doing just fine. Drago's got that thick magic power. I don't know how he learns other lore. I honestly don't. He starts with, like, those three. I think what it is is he learns more from, like, fighting a particular monster, like, by, like fighting a particular monster and getting hit with a particular ability. And then, like, he can learn other stuff, but I don't know. Sure. Wow, thanks. Hey. I'm not- What are you doing here? Doesn't matter, really. Nothing's left anyway. There's only one Moogle say hey, it's probably Mog. It's probably the one that this man took hostage in an earlier episode. Wait, is that who it is? That's who that is. He didn't die! I neither confirmed nor denied. Dude. Also, only a treasure hunter could pick that lock. Do you, uh... You happen to know anybody by that, uh, by that persuasion? Perchance? I mean, maybe. You do. You do. I promise you, you do. Good job, Strago. Oh. That's good to know. You are going to want to leave town and refigure your party. Okay. There's somebody here that needs to you be need, in the party? Yeah, you need three. Three people? Because oh, to make room for the person who's going to join. Everybody just calm down. You calm down, and you calm down to him not calming down.
Drago's learning quick. What? Wrong button. Yeah. So essentially, you can pull out whoever you want. Um, that's what I would have done. Not because Saban isn't good, but because you really need Strago and Realm to, like, learn some stuff. And Locke, for that matter. They all... Locke had... He did a lot of training with him, so he knows a lot of spells from the early part of the game. But he hasn't been in your party for a while, so... It is messing me up that Strago has the Moogle suit on. Because I keep thinking that Mog's already back in your party. magic sound so um i don't think you've tried to go into any of the doors in this town yet but they're all locked what was that face he winked oh because he picks locks he picked the lock oh he won't go into it now oh. so okay so here's the whole, here's the whole, like, lead up to this. Um, you can come to Narsh anytime. And Lone Wolf shows up and is like, hey, there's a, you know, there's nothing left here. And even if there was, like, you'd need a, only a treasure hunter can pick those locks. Everything's, everything's locked up. Locke's whole thing is, I'm not a thief, I'm a treasure hunter. Which is your hint that you need Locke to open the doors here. So if you come here without him, you can't really do anything. Now that he is here, you can pick those locks. Check out those, uh... Check out these abandoned shops. With nothing in them? Some of them have nothing, some of them have... Very, very important things. It just looks like he's knocking. I mean, yeah. The, uh, the animations aren't terribly sophisticated. Luckily, nothing here is terribly threatening. Honestly, in general, because of the way the second half of the game is laid out, a lot of the stuff you run into is going to be increasingly non-threatening. Because you're, you know, you're just, you're strong now. Not to say you won't run into some issues, but I think you have a lot more random encounters that are like this. Uh-oh. Is that a glitch? There's supposed to be someone here, but I think you might have to talk to someone first to get him to show up. Oh, nope, there he is. Oh, I ran away. Oh, 
weapon shop for 70 years. This stone gives off an eerie aura. Those are two unrelated sentences. If I melted it and forged a sword, it'd be powerful. No. You wanna make this stone into a sword? Leave it the stone or make it the sword? That's the correct answer. Go have a look at Ragnarok. It's good. You've never played a Final Fantasy before, but Ultima is the magic spell. It is the, uh... <clears throat> He's learning Phoenix, though, and I need him to know life. Yeah, that, no, that's fine. It's a it's a slow drip. That's, uh... Ultima is something for, you know, like, Celeste, Celeste. to learn. So, yeah, that's good. That's a good reason to come here. And... The Ragnarok sword is fantastic, but if you... If you uh, take the sword, then there's no way to learn Ultima. That's the only way to learn Ultima. And it is... I mean, if you remember, like, from, from Persona, think, like... Megidoleon. Like, non elemental damage, unblockable, hits everybody, extreme, like, extremely high amount of damage. I'm just looking over what else you should do while you're here. Yeah. There's a couple more things to do, some of which are important. This is actually supposed to be advantageous because you like you got them surrounded, but it does have the unfortunate side effect of you not being able to heal everybody at once. But on the other hand, they can't attack. Um, like they can't attack your whole party at once most of the time. Give it up! We've got you surrounded. Basically. Yeah. Not a whole lot of not a whole lot of magic point yield here. It kinda sucks. Nope, nothing in that clock. That just means you got it earlier. Yeah. Here, take this. It's a cursed shield. What the heck am I supposed to do with that old man? Okay. Here's the thing with Cursed Shield. Um Go ahead and go ahead and take a look at it. I never did this when I played. But essentially, the Cursed Shield is exactly what it sounds like. Here it is. Is cursed. Cursed. 
Can be used by basically anybody. Um, okay. You're weak to all elements. So. Yeah. It sucks. It also inflicts a but yeah. Mm-hmm. It also inflicts a bunch of status effects on the wearer. If you use it for like 250 battles, it transforms into the Paladin Shield, which also teaches Ultima and is like the best shield in the game. So if you can deal with having it for a little while, like slap it on someone, give them a ribbon to to uh, deal with the status effects and just kind of like, and just kind of work through it, it becomes really good, but you got to get it there. 250 battles is a lot of battles, but you go through a lot of battles. So it's up to you whether that's a route you want to take. You don't need to. It's not a, uh, it's not a must. But it is, it is the option available to you if you want some cool stuff. Did you do it? I don't think I ever knew that was a thing. Be perfectly honest. I think I looked at it, it was like, Cursed Shield. Oh, it sucks, I'm not gonna use that. Stout Spear. For Edgar. Probably. something. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, I, you're headed to the mines, but there's a better way to head to the mines. Do you like how um, Lone Wolf said there wasn't anyone in town? There wasn't anyone left in town except for a lousy Moogle. Mm -hmm. And then you found like three people in their houses. Locked. I guess that's true. I guess he he's not a good enough uh he's not a good enough thief to Which is funny because the chest that he ended up stealing that gold hairpin out of, mm -hmm. when you go to look at it, is like only like it's really hard to open this and then he like gets it and you're like, what? Yeah. Like you have lock in the party, it's like can't open that. And then he just pops it and goes. This random battles make me so mad. That's... Was the, it was the style at the time. See, like, 100 or 250 battles sounds like a lot, but you've been through, like, five in the last minute. Be, like, it's, it's not as many as it sounds like because you run into so many random battles. But... It's not something that you would get, um, it's not something you would get just going through the game normally. You would actually have to grind it out. It'd be something to equip while you're, like, doing battles on the belt. If you wanted to get Gao, like, more rages and stuff like that. Which we Why? established earlier we will not be doing. Can I go on this one? Yes. Mm -hmm. The house is up, the, up that staircase, I don't think we did. This back attack is not great. Yeah. It messes up your, uh, it messes up your, your rows. This one? Yeah, up the stairs. This was, uh, Argus's house. Wait, it's open. The one, uh, is where, uh, this is where Terra woke up after oh. the, uh, after the whole slave crown. Magitek armor opening Nobody's scene. Nobody's in here, though. That's okay. No one's supposed to be. You're supposed to go through the back door and go to the mines. Oh, 
but I already was in that other door. Right. Okay. I'm go back in here. Yeah, you went out the back, and then you and then you went back in, but you can just keep going. I don't believe there's anything else to get in in town itself. Everything else is in the mines. Ha! Ah. You blocked. You Twice. blocked again. I just want to point out that real quick that Strago put on a Moogle suit and turned into a Moogle and Realm put on a Behemoth suit and still looks like herself. Just saying. Just saying. Thought it was overkill before. <laughs> oh, that's funny. In my memories, I thought that the uh, I thought the enemies in the cave didn't change, but here they are, very much changed. Well, that was good. Aqua makes a really good move. Like, it's, it's the first one, like, they kind of railroad you into using it because it's a water move. And the first time you really use Strago is in that burning, is that, in that burning building trying to save Realm. But, like, so obviously it's good there because you're using the water magic in the, in the fire zone. But it just is really strong. It's really nice. And only two magic points for all that. Boo. That is pretty shitty. I was just wondering how everyone was doing on, uh, on magic training. <clears throat> Especially these two. Yeah, there you go. Oh, she learned more than I thought she did. Good. Yeah, I'd say she's certainly up to a point where you can basically just teach her whatever you feel like. somebody else. Oh, it's probably on Saban. He's probably still. He's learned everything but Cure 3, which is good to know, but the question is, do you want to you want to keep him on that when he could be learning something else faster? Because Strago, I think, is actually missing a lot of attack skills. I'd rather him learn life. 
You will want people to learn that eventually, but you, there will be time and a very particular location to learn uh, to do some magic training. Wizard? Ugh. Osmos? Unfortunately, he only he hasn't used any magic yet, so he only he only eats up the uh... They know Demi. They apparently know Demi. Like, it's time to stop. Sleep. Oh it's no, it's the time. moon! Uh -huh. oh. That's pretty nice, actually. Hey, it's pretty nice. This may not end up being useful to you. It wasn't something that I used very often. But any elemental weapons like that, rods especially, you can go into your item menu and use them in battle, and they will just cast that spell. So you can use the ice rod as a... Yeah. Cast ice too and use an item and then breaks. So you can use them actually as, like, consumables. Kind of wasteful. It's a good speedrun strat, because it gives you ice... It gives you access to uh, Ice 2 before you can actually learn it. I don't know if I should go this way or not. I think you just go in the door, but I, I'm famously bad at navigating, so don't listen to me. Yeah, so, like with all drain skills, you can only drain how much you have capacity for. He which in, one. In his case, like, he spent one MP to cast Osmos, and then took that one MP back. Well, I remember this one. Yeah, you do. And so does Locke. <laughs> Ow. That was... A lot. Am I in the wrong place now? Yeah, I... Well... I don't remember. I think the room you walked past and you were like, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to go in there, you were. You'll know when you're in the right place. So much damage. I'm still pretty sure this is right, but I just want you to know that I might be wrong. Okay. Fine. They really want her to shut up. Suddenly, Pearl Rod.
Nothing is strong. Oh my god. <laughs> Doing a casual 3k on a physical attack. It's up here to the right. I believe that's correct. When the last time you were in that room, you had to follow that light. And it was it went through like the path and you had to like retrace the path. He kind of looks like Pepe. Mm. <laughs> Doesn't he? I I get it. I get it. I wish I didn't, but I do. Lockler and Fire 3. Nice. This is... Uh... What's up, buddy? Koopa Po! You're alive! Thought you were all feeding the worms! Koopa Ho Ho! Let's go! So cute. Oh, he's very scary. Oh. Say, we could use some Sasquatch muscle. It'd be helpless here without me. Somewhere in the mines. Once we find him, I'll order him to join us. Bob's here. Mog also uses spears. So anyway, that's why you bring three people. Basically, just a big attack up. I gave him the thing to the back guard. So go up to the wall and check where he was standing. 